Hey guys, I thought I would bring you today a really quick like watercolor Wednesday quickie. I don't know what else to call it. So I'm working on some lessons out of one of my Jean Haynes books and if you really want to learn more about expressive watercolors, you really should think about getting one of her books. Right now I'm working in atmospheric watercolors and I've got to do a, fig a human figure and I want to mix some flesh tones with my watercolor paints. Now, I've shown this before with acrylic paint, and of course it's possible with watercolor. The process is very similar to acrylic paint. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I'm talking about. So I've got my Daniel Smith palette here, and it's kind of off camera so that you can see a close-up of what I'm doing and not really a close-up of the actual palette of paints. So the first thing I want to do is I want to mix up a kind of an orange. So I'm going to use um, permanent red, which is this bright red. And some water. I need kind of a lot of it. Okay. And I forgot to change my watercolor water, but it's and it's all dirty, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use um, Hansa yellow. You can use any like um, uh, lemony yellow that you have and make an orange. Okay, that's nice. But it's very orange, see? People's skin isn't really that color. So we want to peach it up. So we want to peach it up a little bit by adding by adding a little bit of blue and I'm going to use the truest blue I have ultramarine blue just a little bit goes a long way that actually might be too much but we'll see because that made it too green look at that you can tell without putting that on the paper that's too green so let's add some more um, red back and just keep playing with it until you get a color that you like that works for you and then what I would recommend is once you get a color that you like that works is make some notes on how you got there. That's actually not bad. Now, and if I'm trying to match my own skin color, that's pretty close. I like that. So there you have it. Of course, you can buy flesh tone colored paints in all your different paint, paint, kinds of paint, including um, water soluble paint. Um, but mostly it's going to be a gouache and it's not going to be watercolor. It's not going to be translucent. And you're going to have to mix something and knowing how to mix paint will lend you very well going forward in creating fabulous art. So think about doing that and don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Play, have fun, and enjoy life. All right, that's it for right now, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.